with the Pixel and Pixel XL, Google has debuted a new personal assistant feature that they're calling Google Assistant. Now, some will believe that this is just a rebranding of Google Now, but Google Now and Google Assistant actually function differently at this time. There are some things that Google Now can do that Google Assistant cannot, and vice versa. I wouldn't be surprised if Google completely gets rid of Google Now and replaces it with Google Assistant once the Assistant feature can do everything that Google Now can. But now it seems like, for now, it seems like it's run on two different back end systems. So they do different things at this time. Now, there are a couple of different ways you can activate Google Assistant. Firstly, if you have the voice hot word detector enabled, you can just say, OK, Google. And the voice assistant will pop up. You can also say, hey, Google. And the voice assistant will pop up. If you're not a fan of voice commands like that or you have turned it off, so that it doesn't trigger whenever you're watching a video of somebody talking about it. You can also activate Google Assistant by pressing and holding down on the home button. So you just tap and hold it for a couple of seconds and Google Assistant will pop up. Now I'll go into further detail about what Google Assistant can and cannot do and hopefully I can put together a definitive list of all the commands Google Assistant can do. But for now I just wanted to talk to you about that shortcut to activate it. Now if you're running a different smartphone, even if it has Android 7.1.1 right now, long pressing on the home button will not activate Google Assistant. Instead, it will activate a feature that Google added previously that will take a screenshot of everything that's on your screen and try to suggest some things that you might be interested in. Google called this feature Now on Tap, and that still works, but it's just activated in a different way. So say I was looking up Westworld or you were talking to somebody about Westworld, you still want to do this long press to uh, activate the Google Assistant. But then you just swipe up from the bottom of the screen and you, see, you can see Google Assistant has offered us some related information about what was found on the screen. So we have details for Westworld, including a Google search, YouTube search, news, images, cast, etc. The Westworld stream, an HBO free trial, details on Westworld season one, and anything else that Google was able to find from your screen. This works with television shows, movies, restaurants, directions, anything like that where you'll just press and hold on the home button and then swipe up and Google Assistant will offer some suggestions to you based on what's on your screen. Sadly this feature is kind of hit or miss right now as you saw Whenever I first tried to activate it, it didn't detect anything, but it did the second time. So it's just something to try out from time to time to see if it works out for you.